Over the years, I have done a lot of Pokemon Go videos, but there is one video that I've been always wanting to do, but have not found the right time or place to be able to do it, and that is a 24-hour grind. Going for 24 hours straight playing Pokemon Go, and this event for the Paldea region is the perfect time for it because of the four times catch XP and the four times catch Stardust in Pokemon Go. So we are gonna get ready, we are gonna get prepped, we are gonna take off in the Paldea region. Starting off waking up before the sun has risen, we are going to get out of bed, start getting ready, prep all of our essentials, and be ready to take on the day for Pokemon Go's 24-hour grind. Nowhere better than to play Pokemon Go in California than Santa Monica with all the lore modules, with all the players. So let's start getting into it. Celery juice in the morning. There's nothing better and more quenching than celery juice. I forgot to push record, so... I already drank a little bit, but this is absolutely delicious. Quenches and nourishes your body. But let's get into some of our stats to see exactly what our goals are and where we're gonna be starting today. And we actually hit lucky friends with Rachel. Let's go. I'm excited to do this trade. Cannot wait. So today where we're sitting at, it's 3.58 a.m. Oh my gosh, two, ace two, let's go. Two lucky friends. So let's check out some of my stats and I'm gonna go over what I want to do today. I just wanna give a big shout out to Pokemon Go Milo YouTube. If you guys wanna check them out, definitely check out in the comments as well as Daxi and I've seen Mystic7 do it as well. These 24 hour grinds, but I I think this event, there's nothing better than this event to do this grind because if we check out over here, let's go ahead and check out the rewards, all this stuff that I have been saving for today. A Paldean adventure, we have one day in six hours, which is gonna fit in our 24 hour time frame. Four times catch XP and four times catch Stardust. Okay, so those are the biggest things that I want to focus on today. So our total stats for Pokemon caught, we have 543,000 Pokemon, 639. Go ahead and screenshot this for us later. I also have total XP of 562 million. So for for catches, my goal is to catch at least 3,000 Pokemon in a day, okay? So that is a little bit out there, but that's what my goal is today. I would also like to get, I know this is very, very advantageous, not 500, 600 million XP by the end of the day, which means we're looking at getting 38 million XP. We're gonna divide that by approximately 10,000. So, <laughs> man, I don't know if this is possible, but we would have to hit 3,800 excellent throw. So that might be a little far out there, but I'm gonna really shoot for it and see what happens by the the end of the day. And the final stat is our Stardust is currently sitting at 81,535,000. And another very, very advantageous goal would be 90 million Stardust. Highly doubt either of those numbers are gonna happen, but we're gonna shoot for the gold and go for it. And we have our 24 hour grind essentials. We have multiple battery packs. So that's gonna be a grand total of three because there's one in the camera right now. We have our food, freshly filled water, battery pack, multiple bars to bridge us through meals, our computer, because we're gonna have to be uploading throughout the day. And one of my favorite things of all is gonna be the fanny pack. We obviously have multiple cables in here. And then we always have the handy, because you never know, marker. In case anybody ever wants a signature, you guys don't think I'm prepared. I am ready for you guys at all times. So with all that said, let's start packing up and let's get ourselves into the 24 hour grind in Pokemon Go. And we have officially made it to Santa Monica, California. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna open the game here. And most importantly, as the game is opening, it will keep loading. We are going to create a stopwatch. You guys ready for this? So this is gonna allow us to track our total time and then if we need to lap anything, maybe make an hour or whatever we need to do, that is going to happen to be able to grind hard and whatever that is. So we are in Santa Monica, California. So there is gonna be some raids out there today, which is gonna be exciting because we want to do some Ultra Beast raids. We also want to do the Shadow Zapdos raids and it looks like, okay, that's enough. Dude, these notifications just don't need to come through here. What is that out there? Is that my champ? Yeah, don't, don't need to do that. Shadow Zapdos raids anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Look Looks like one right over there. The goal of today is obviously XP Stardust, but we need to get ourselves the shiny LeChonk in Pokemon Go. So we are going to be doing a lot of things and we are gonna be egging for 24 hours. We're gonna be incensing for 24 hours. So we're gonna be on star pieces for 24 hours. So we're gonna hatch as many eggs as we possibly can. So we're gonna go ahead and throw down everything we need to make the first catch amazing in Pokemon Go. All right, so we need to hit this excellent throw. No pressure. One. Ah, one handed and he misses it. Okay, well, that is not gonna be it. We're gonna go back to the second one and we're gonna go for the Bweasel and try that again. All right, so now we're gonna go for this Bweasel here. Thankfully, that Lechonk broke out. Bweasel, excellent throw. This is gonna have a star piece and a lucky egg on and we are gonna get a grand total of 21,000 XP and 3,300 Stardust on the first catch of the day. Too bad it is not the seventh day streak, but we have a lot of things to do and most importantly, that's gonna be catch as many Pokemon as possible. 
incredible with excellent throws. Okay, so all of these Pokemon are a little bit different. It looks like we are clear weather boost, so that's good. That's gonna be helpful for us. We are going to hit as many of these excellent throws as we possibly can, and the one problem with these Pokemon is that I feel like they trolled us with this event. Probably one of the better events for XP and Stardust, if not the best event we've ever had, but they did troll us because these Pokemon are not easy, nor are they fun to catch in Pokemon Go at all, right? So I'm gonna be using as many berries as I can. I'm gonna be trying to shift up through the different ball types to not use all, and as I missed that excellent throw. So all different ranges, different ball types. We're gonna see if we can pop that in there, grab that one, and Quaxley is caught. And last but not least, we have our daily spawn. I did not even open the game back home. Each and every time on this lucky egg, we are gonna be getting ourselves a grand total of, are you guys ready for it? 9,360. So we have a lot of work to do, a lot of things to do. We are going to incense for one hour, and then we're gonna do our adventure incense, and we're gonna get on with everything. So let's start the lucky eggs and the star pieces. I'm gonna to need to buy some more here and re-up on my coins, I believe, too. And we are going to be getting it for a grand total of 24 hours in Pokemon Go. The grind starts right now. What's your predictions? Will we get the shinies we want? Where are we gonna be at? Let's go ahead and check out the Quaxley XL candy for the day. Let's go ahead and check out the Lechonk 73. Let's go ahead and check out the Sprigatito. I probably will be shifting Megas here at some point or another and the Fue Coco. But what we are gonna start off, so we have Zapdos out there. We do not have the shiny yet. So we do want Zapdos XL candy. That's very important for me. First, we gotta do our mega, mega buddies that we do each and every day. This is boosting them up. Gotta have the priorities in check. And of course, we gotta mega boost that Shundo Charizard. If you wanna see me get it, check the video out up here. And last but not least, let's check out our mega level twos we have here. We have ourselves, no, we're gonna go after the Kyogre, actually. It's gonna be the Kyogre because this is going to cover the Quaxly, and it's also gonna cover the Zapdos with the dual typing. So as soon as we get the Quaxly XL candy all the way up, and hopefully we get that shiny Zapdos, we're gonna be switching over into a Groudon to cover the Fue Coco as well as the Sprigatito. All right, the grind starts right now. We are starting off the day in incredible lighting at the Santa Monica Pier. Okay, so this place is iconic for Pokemon Go. It's been a long treasured place for a lot of people to play. However, I've definitely played in a lot better places. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, you know, you guys have seen some videos. If you haven't seen me playing like Zaragoza and other places like that, man, you really gotta check that video out because it is crazy to see what that type of location is like. That is gonna be in Spain, Zaragoza, Spain. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna be taking down a Sierra right off the bat. We're gonna be doing potentially some rocket leaders. Probably not a ton of these, but I do have one stack up that I wanted to get out of the way and then we can move on with ourselves. We actually have the Primal Kyogre in here that we did Primal Evolve. So we're gonna see if we have to bring that Pokemon out or can we get around it with this? Uh, I really need to max out a Lucario so I can stop use this level like 32 Lucario or whatever it is. Ultra League Lucario going after these Pokemon. And last but not least will be not what we are exactly hoping for right here but we can potentially get a decent amount off on this Pokemon before we have to switch over into the Kyogre. Kyogre is gonna be weak to Victory Bell though. Let's go ahead and switch it over, see what happens. And it's using a poison move. We'll be able to get the final shiny shadow leader. They should be switching up pretty soon, I would think, but we'll be able to get the final one before they change. This is the last one we need. Come on, Sierra, come through for us for the video's sake, for the video's sake. Do you guys think we're gonna get a shiny shadow Zapdos today? I don't know, we'll see. Come on, eventually we're gonna get there and it's not gonna be shiny. This is probably one of the harder Pokemon to hit an excellent throw on. Ugh, I, I just can't get it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I cannot do it. Okay, well, we get a second chance here. Ugh. It's like I throw it too little or not enough or too hard. Bounce it right over that excellent throw. Alrighty, 423. As far as our spots clearage go, we have almost 800. We have 766 spots available for us, and we are officially at how many kilometers for the week? How many? 43.4. Charizard is active. We have 562 million XP, and the grind begins. And we will be using some natural tripods throughout the day. Okay, <laughs> natural tripods for the win. All right, so let's go ahead and hit some excellent throws here on these Pokemon so we can kind of get a feeling for where we're gonna be at 
that and if we're catching all these Pokemon. So there's number one. Will we get the Lechonk shiny today? I don't know and I really hope that we do. Okay, there's different varying lengths of all the Pokemon that we're gonna be throwing excellent throws at, but yeah, gosh, that one is the challenging one for me. Fue Coco just, it's right too far for me. Just like too close, ah, too close, not too far, but all the Fungus out there, guys, do not overlook the Fungus, do not overlook the Meowths, do not overlook, because you're getting 3,750 Stardust per catch there. Let's continue on right here. Remember, every single time I hit an excellent throw and I catch that Pokemon, we are getting 9,300 XP. That's why not sucking and hitting all these excellent throws is very important. Gosh, I hate that Pokemon. Of all of them, that is gonna be the one that I am least fond of. But I've also saved a bunch of things for you guys as soon as we catch all this so we can go over it. Sprigatito, not too far. Looks a little closer than it, you know, it is. It's actually a little further than you think it is, which is interesting. And then the Fue Coco looks further and is way closer than it is and has a very small, excellent throw radius on that one. And I suck. All right. With all that said, let's now check out the field research. We have a bunch of checks. One, not shiny. And two, not shiny. Three, come on, pink piggy. And if you guys want to check our balls, we have 635 Ultra Balls, 195 Great Balls, and 723 Pokeballs. I've been trying my best to really get up on the ball count, but guys, honestly, lately, it's been a little bit challenging to be able to do that. Four. 308. Okay, wow, that's the highest one that I think I've seen in a while. So let's go ahead and miss that excellent throw and check the IVs of that one. It's terrible. Five for a grand total of 1,306. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a Pokemon we want. 2022. Wow, we're going to go ahead and use an Ultra Ball on this guy because this guy is going to miss an excellent throw, but it's going to yield us a lot of Stardust. Would have been a great XP gain as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stay around. Okay, we get a second chance for that XP. There it is. Can't believe I missed that one. It's very easy. We get a grand total of, for the Shiftery Encounter, 3750 on that one. And the Quaxley is the last one that we did not throw an excellent throw here yet. This is not the hardest one for me. Quaxley, got it. Lechonk. It's it's the Fue Coco. The Fue Coco does bring me problems. Go ahead and claim that. We need to do some field research today. Win 60 raids. Obviously, you guys see me not going super hard on that. Let's get this other one. 1500 Stardust. Lechonk. 1500 and Lechonk. Another 1500 and we're getting another Lechonk. Excellent throws every time, buddy. Oh, wow. The Gold Battle League rewards is going out two rare candy. And the Gold Battle League, two rare XL candy right off the rip, dude. Let's go. Okay, last check that we have for the day. 1500 Lechonk encounter. Goodness. And the other thing that I actually have been doing as well is I have been saving up Pokemon in here because Pokemon catching is important. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. We did, yeah, we did catch that. Man, those Onyx are great, excellent throws right there. Look at all this. There we go. We actually have a Carbink, 624 on that one with an excellent throw. Go ahead and keep going there. Charmander, 404. Great, excellent throw right there as well. Very familiar with the Charmander. And we have a Burmy, which if we hit this excellent throw, that would be quite impressive. Ah, he moved. That was close. Haunter, great, excellent throw, which I'm gonna miss, but great Stardust as well. And Haunter will give us 1800 Stardust. All right, let's continue. And we are walking down the Santa Monica Pier and it might look a little different than normal to you guys, but guys, think about this. This place is usually absolutely packed, absolutely packed to the brim with people. And since it is 6.54 a.m. and we just see the first actually on camera daybreak of Pokemon right there, hitting an excellent throw on the Sprigatito, I think it's a sign. Today's gonna be a fantastic day, but yeah, there's literally nobody here on the pier. It's actually fantastic right now. No XL candy on that Pokemon, which is kind of surprising. We are gonna follow a route because roots help you get your buddy excited. Check out this video right here. Do not overlook that video. It's very, very, give me that excellent throw. Come on, important to be able to optimize your buddies. There it is. All right, Let's see what else we can get down here. Waxley, decent spawns. A little challenging to throw those excellent throws with one hand, but we make it happen.
And we are in the golden hour right now. We have officially put on 23 hours worth of lucky eggs and now we're on to our star pieces. And this is 2023 version of Pokemon Go, guys. Yeah, just like this. This is how we have to do it. Couldn't just put that plus button to help us out. We have to manually select this, making me question, do I actually want to do this? And actually the answer feels to be no, because I, I really don't want to do this every time, to be honest with you guys. But eventually we're going to get here all the way to 23 hours left worth of star pieces, taking up valuable catch time, let me tell you. And we will get there. Slowly but surely, shiny high. Hop we hit a quick excellent throw on this one, pull it in. Nope, can't get that. And the next one is a Sphiel, should be a pretty easy excellent throw. So I will want to point something out. So if I hold down on this, I could see green, right? If I see yellow or red, I might go to the Great Ball. I can hold down, I can see the change of the color or I might go to the Ultra Ball, depending on what color the circle of the Pokemon is going to look like. Totally whiffing both of those throws, but uh, catching them nonetheless. So that's a, a quick way to know, okay, do I need to bury on this Pokemon? Is it going to be challenging for me to catch? Can I catch it pretty easy? easily and to go from there I did learn that every time as soon as all of the Pokemon players in Japan right so this one I'll push down red still red okay orange if I hit it with this berry then it goes to yellow okay so this is how to optimize your Pokemon balls to make sure that you can catch them at a higher percentage because more than likely you will catch this Pokemon right there. So go ahead and hit all those balls real quick, starting on the Pokeball. If it's good, it works. And if not, change to a different ball. And don't ever waste a ball in Pokemon Go because they're all valuable, especially right now. They're not dropping in high quantities. Shiny Lechonk! Come on, dude. So that would be a... You can also tell by the CP of the Pokemon for the most part, depending on which they are. Missed excellent throw, but a Lechonk, non-shiny. Will we get this today? Alrighty, guys. About an hour and a half in, we have our first shiny, which is going to be a Buizel. So this is going to be my second shiny Buizel in Pokemon Go. Super stoked about this. Absolutely needed this shiny. It was one of the ones that I've been looking after for quite some time. And fortunately, we just got this. Shiny number one in the bag so far. We'll go ahead and check in on how we've been doing here in a bit. And we're going to try to make ourselves that way. There is a Shadow Zapdos raid that's out of sight, out of mind right now. And I'm going to have to really truck it down the street. Oh my gosh, we got a wild Matang from the intense click it hello i can't click it it's too big there it is let's go can i hit an excellent throw on this thing reverse oh wow that's really far hold on oh goodness and we have ourselves a weather boosted mag cargo which should be pretty good stardust gains including the excellent throw right there it's so nice to be on the star pieces and the lucky eggs for 24 hours it's going to help us out a lot and we have 2250 love it and we are approximately two hours in and we have our second shiny of the day which is going to be the shiny houndor all right, we're gonna go ahead and give this one a berry and hit that excellent throw right there and see what we're gonna be able to get. Will we get a good IV? I don't know, it's weather boosted. It was in the wild, you never know. This one is going to be 742 and it's a one star shiny. Can we get a LeChonk back to back? Imagine though, got that and dang it. LeChonk, you are my mission today. Obviously besides the Stardust and the XP. Sprigatitos are incredibly annoying to catch as always. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one with a excellent curveball, excellent throw. Caught it, let's go. Another Sprigatito, I will do the same with that one. And Quaxly, see if I can hit all the starter excellent throws in one clip. Can I do it? Ooh, this is the one that haunts me the most. I don't even know if that one was gonna be it, honestly. Got it, all of them in one clip. Let's go, did we catch them all? And we did, back to back and GG's, let's go. See if we can get this tiny weasel, and it is in. Another thing that we just had happen, we had a Flareon and an Umbreon spawning right next to each other, which is quite crazy. Almost at 82 million Stardust. All right, guys, are you ready for this? We finally got the shiny LeChonk in Pokemon Go. I am freaking stoked right now. About two hours and 20 minutes in, and we are on our third shiny. Yo, let's go. What is going on? I am stoked. Hope you guys are too. Hope you guys got this shiny LeChonk. Let's see. Is it the male or the female? Check it out. It is a male. Nice. All right. Well, that one is there and checked out the box. If we go back to back, that would be insane. I mean, it's taken us quite a bit of time to be able to catch the first one, but hey, we're not doing too bad for our shiny count. We're not doing too bad overall. I mean, honestly, like, you know, two hours and maybe 30-ish minutes in and we're doing, we're doing well. I love this. Let's keep the pace up. Keep the excellent throws going. Keep that 90. 360 XP. Can we maintain it with the Pikachu? We can. Let's go. And we have a pretty wild spawn here. We actually have a Gardevoir. And just remember that Gardevoir, since it is in Mega Raids, can be shiny. But guys, before we click on the Gardevoir, we have ourselves a shiny Hoppip in the wild, which is crazy. And I, I think I just saw, hopefully didn't see what I think I saw, that the Gardevoir may have despawned, which would be a big, actually, bummer right now. Catch that. And maybe we have to walk a little further. Ooh. 
come on, Gardevoir. There you are. Can it be shiny? Oh, imagine. Wow, 2390 on this one. Let's see what this one does come up as, as far as Stardust and such an easy, excellent throw. And I just did not throw it hard enough. Okay, it broke out. Don't, don't run. Don't run. All right, that's perfect. Not going to get quite as much XP, but we're still down with it. No, wow, dude. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not going to work for us. All right. Don't run, Gardevoir. Don't run. Wow, the battle of the Gardevoir right now. Ah, thought I could get it off in time. Wow. Okay. Gardevoir is a spicy pick here. Come one, come all, guys. Come one, come all. There's the excellent throw. How much Stardust? Drop in the comments. Drop in the comments if we can catch this thing. This is a battle of the century. There it is. All right. We caught it. How much Stardust will we get? A grand total of 3,800 XP. Such a W, man. Our shiny count is going actually crazy right now. We have, we have a grand total of four shinies in the first two hours. Wow, dude. Wow. And actually that Hoppip is a 93% IV shiny so far. Best shiny of the day. We got a Hundo Houndor from Research. Yo, let's go. What a day. And we are on the way back to the Santa Monica Pier. Where is it? Right there. Okay, there's a Zapdos that was in there. So before we were not able to make it in time to be able to get to that last Zapdos, this will be the first Zapdos of the day. Hopefully there's going to be people that are still going to be there as we roll up. And then we are going to pop an Adventure Incense, hit the rest of the pier, walk back this way, and enjoy some breakfast, which I'm very excited about. And we are definitely going to be hatching some eggs here and there. Like we actually just did hatch a shiny Gligar not too long ago. Let's see, hatched right here, 1,016. Not the greatest of shinies, but we did hatch that too. Not today though. We have 4.5 on these eggs right now. Luckily, we're on star pieces all day, so we don't even have to worry about it, man. It's amazing. <laughs> and we are in the uh, Shano Zapdos raid, which has already been halfway down and it's already been subdued. And for whatever reason, it put in my Reshiram and I did not switch. But now we have a powerful Pokemon that will help us out. Level 50 Rampardos and see if we can uh, get ourselves the shiny. Just remember when you're looking for the shiny Zapdos, check out its beak, it will be orange as opposed to this yellow color that you do see right here. So 13 people in, trying to see what kind of Pokemon they have. I think I see a Mega Aggron in there, if I'm not mistaken. Don't use Mega Aggron, man. Mega Titar. We have Mega Titar. Why are we using Mega Aggron? Mega Aggron isn't even dual typed anymore. Once it goes Mega, it only stays steel type. So it's literally couldn't get worse for that Pokemon. It takes L's in every category. Maybe not in the main series games, but in Pokemon Go, it is always taking L's. Did get a little better with the buff, but still it is not is not what we're looking for and 1957 we are not going to be anywhere near the 100 iv oops probably should have blown through all that we are obviously still on that and can we get ourselves a shiny nope see the beak as soon as you see that beak comes up oh wow can we hit that excellent throw Oh, we lagged. Okay, that was weird. As soon as you see that beak pop up, it's not orange right on the top. It's very, very prominent orange. You will be able to tell, and that would make it the shiny one. Besides that, it's kind of challenging to be able to see. I'm very familiar with these excellent throws. I've, I've done a lot of Zapdos raids back in the day. We were big fans of Zapdos. We are Team Instinct, and you know, that is our team bird. And everybody was after that 100% IV. Fortunately, I was able to get two of them, and, and hopefully I'll catch this one here. Ah, missed that. All right, throw number three, and buff the throw holds on to the ball a little too much resize to the great throw we could still catch it though not this one I really wish you could still do a couple of regular invites to these raids just to get one or two friends in there to get that buddy boost not always can we play with our friends in person so it is nice to be able to have that remote invite capability there we go come on Zapdos Zapdos stay with us good job see if we have any other Pokemon in the vicinity that we can do five XL candy let's go on that and we have a Sprigatito okay let's not hit it with that let's hit it with this oh just missing the tiniest of the tiniest excellent throws on that one and that is going to do it for now and I don't know about you guys but I am just not into Celesteela I mean I could be wrong could be misjudging maybe at some point I'll regret it but as of right now I don't and I don't plan to and I don't plan to do any raids for them today either I really wanted to say hopefully the Cartana was still gonna be around, but unfortunately we missed it by one day. Ugh. Alrighty guys, and we are playing down here. We just found a wild Metagross. Okay, this is actually crazy. Too bad it does not have a shiny potential. Oh man, where could I put my camera down? Because this one could have been a shiny if the Mega was out, right? The Mega does come out, obviously it does have a shiny. I wanna catch this, I want the XL Candy and the Stardust and everything in between. Wow, it's a 969, not crazy, but wow. Okay, wow, I really misjudged that excellent throw right there. Okay, please stay with us. Don't run, don't run, don't run. We don't get to throw after at this Pokemon very, 
very often. <laughs> they, okay, we got it. Unfortunately, I didn't get the excellent throw. I thought it was gonna be a pretty easy excellent throw at that. 3,000 Stardust on that, what? Wait, what? Dude, what? I just got, I literally just got a wild, a wild hundo Metagross. Dude, what in the freaking world? I mean, I know it sounds crazy. I do have a couple of them, so I'm not like uber stoked that like, man, this is my first one ever, but dude, what the heck, bro? Why are all the timestamps broken for all these of like where you catch all these Pokemon just in the wild? Wow, dude, what the heck? Literally just finished off that Zapdos raid and we got ourselves 100% IV wild Metacross. All right, that is crazy. Okay, well, two hundos for the day, four shinies, and we are two hours and 36 minutes in. Wow, what a W, dude, what a freaking W. And actually, hold on, let me show you guys this spot. Okay, so if you ever come to Santa Monica Pier, there is this double set, okay? So that's the main bridge that you come in right there, right? You're walking down from the street, that's the street up there, you come down, and if you were to go around and come to the left of over here and come down to if you guys look in game right over here okay so this is where we are and you come down this beach boardwalk there's a triple set right here that is a pretty famous skateboard triple set if you guys are ever wondering it's been in a lot of videos there's been a lot of super gnarly tricks being thrown down it but if you ever want to see it see how big it actually is and you can google the Santa Monica Pier triple set if you want to see some skateboarders or we can check out Shane O'Neill skate it right now <laughs> And the daily incense has been completed. We caught 12 Pokemon, 710 meters. Not the best showing, that's for sure. Definitely got caught up catching a couple of Pokemon out there. There were some pretty good spawns, you know? They're Nuzleaf good. Always great to see some of these Pokemon spawning out there, especially with this Stardust boost. And it is time to have some breakfast real quick as we take a quick break. So just to check in with you guys, we have a grand total of three hours and 18 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and lap that right there. Oof, man, it's already been a grind. It's gonna be a long freaking day, but let's not stop there. Let's check in to see where we're at. We are at a grand total of 565,277,000 XP. We've caught 544,060 Pokemon, and we have a grand total of 81,895,000 and 084 startups. Okay, so let's compare that to where we started. So we have a grand total of gains of two point, basically nine million XP, 421 Pokemon caught, 352,000 startups. We have four shinies so far, and we have two hundos. And we're gonna put this in at about uh, three, let's go ahead and pull this one up, 317, I believe, was for us. So that is gonna be where we're at today. And so if we go ahead and estimate what that's gonna be, if we times this by approximately eight, we're looking at 23 million XP, which means if you played like this for 24 hours, you could take an account from zero all the way to level 40. Hey, maybe we'll do that video soon. We're gonna get a grand total of 3,300 catches, and we'll have a Stardust count of 2.823 million, okay? So that's gonna be what the estimate is right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen Screenshot that we need to beat this. We need to speed it up. Remember, we did take some time to be able to put on all those star pieces, all those lucky eggs. We're gonna take a little bit of time for food, but we're gonna start going a little bit harder and faster and make sure that we do our best to get and beat this estimate in Pokemon Go. Do you think we have it? Let me know in the comments below. Let's keep going and eat some food, most importantly, because cheers. Okay, so we're taking a break for a quick second after we eat, and it's time to get serious. You already know, ash hat backwards, just kidding. We can't do it backwards. We need to have the capability to be able to protect ourselves because the sun is coming out and I'm gonna be out here until tomorrow morning when the sun rises. Gosh, this, this is a terrible idea. Okay, and some of you guys may see me wear these in some of the photos and the videos. This is what I use as a neck protector so I do not get burnt because it gets very hot out there when you're in the sun for six to eight to 10 to 15 to 25 hours like we're gonna do today, okay? That looks good, let's get it. And we are heading up to another Zapdos raid and we have our Charizard completely pretty much maxed out at heart. So we are gonna go right into the Rayquaza and shiny and maxed out right here, let's go. I'm excited to start getting this one excited as well. Great times and we have a route actually that's sitting right here. Do you guys say roots or routes? I don't know, I say both sometimes. I feel like I swap in between, but we'll go ahead and get our Rayquaza out. Probably gonna pop and hit this one with a quick golden Raz, speed up the stuff. Thankfully, from the Hoenn tour, we were able to get our golden raspberries back up. And 
and then we can jump into this raid right here. Another Shadow Zapdos raid. Come on, baby, we need the shiny today. Nine people in, 10 make me 11. Let's go. And I did see some people say that you didn't need to have the Rayquaza in spot number one to be able to get the Buddy Heart, so we're gonna test that out today. We're gonna put it in the last spot and see if it does work. And Zapdos number two going down all the way. Rock Wrecker right here. I need to max one out. Eventually soon, I'm gonna max out a Rock Wrecker right here. I really wanna to get to that 100 million Stardust benchmark and then we can start doing some fun max out videos again. And 1927, not all that great. So let's see if we are gonna be able to get this shiny Zapdos 20,000. Can we get it? Come on, baby. Nope. And we have five five kilometer eggs. Can we finally hatch the shiny that we've been looking for? Let's go, come on, dang it. There's one chance at it. Come on, Pan Jam. Two chances, come on, Pan Jam. Shine for us, buddy. Or a Scraggy, we would love to hatch that too. Come on, goodness. And 535, nope, doesn't look like any of these are great. And the grind continues, doesn't it? Okay, throw that on and let's go ahead and get that. Hello, game, any day? Are we going? We good? Okay, we're good apparently, and we're on. And we have found a massive win. So this whole entire park, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because I keep seeing them everywhere, is a Fungus nest. And since it is sunny weather and Fungus is a boosted Pokemon, and we have a huge one right here, go ahead and give this one a Raspberry, and we will go ahead and hopefully hit an excellent throw and bring this one home. There it is. We will be getting a lot of Stardust, so I think, you know, this is gonna be part of my route. I feel like I got the route down. I'm gonna go all the way down, and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go up here. See, look, wow, wow, 3750 per catch. That's that's crazy, dude. So we'll go all the way down onto the pier, then we'll make our way up, and then there's a heavily littered Pokestop street right there with those lore modules, and then come back down around by the Machamp and the Celesteela, and then book it down here, and then back. So we have a nice little loop here. We're gonna start picking up the pace and try to give it some overtime grind. Uh, we're gonna need to clear out our bag very soon, so as soon as I get to that point, I will go ahead and do that. So let's see, age zero and four star, anything else? No. And any other shinies? I did have to jump on a call with my mom real quick, and there is nothing. All right, so four shinies down. I mean, that's that's we got some very diverse shinies here, so exciting times. Let's check the Quaxley XL candy. We are looking at 86. Man, it is not going up. I need to start trading those Pokemon, so let's start walking fast. And we have just walked our first kilometer with the Rayquaza, and so here it goes. This is crazy. So what you can do is you can play with your buddy, give your buddy a treat, Take a snapshot of everybody, battle with your buddy, spin a new Pokestop, carry a route with your buddy, and then walk two kilometers with your buddy, and guess what? We already have this thing freaking excited on the first round of two kilometers if you have a bonus with that. Wow, man, that is out of this world. The video to get this very quick and efficient is up here. And since we're in Santa Monica, as you can see, Right? We have the ability to spin some poke stops that look to be new around here. I have spun a lot of stops, but every time I see those new poke stops, guys, I get very excited because I'm like, yes. This could be it. And I don't believe that I've done a second time because that's one rotation of walking right there, which is, dude, that is crazy how fast you can get your buddy as excited. Roots are the way to win with excited buddies without using Poffins in Pokemon Go. Alrighty, guys, we have our next shiny, which is gonna be a repeat shiny. This is going to be the Hopip. The only one of the weather boosted, or I guess the shiny boost that we do not have is going to be the Fletchling. See if we could land this excellent throw up top. There it is. I've been getting better at these. Uh, I've been pretty good about them the entire time, actually. Pretty easy excellent throw, I think. Hop it, easy Pokemon. Let's see, what are the uh, IVs? One star. Can we go back to back right there? Uh, and the last one that we need, Shiny Fletchling. Coming off of the incense, let's go. All right, so we have officially gotten all of the available shinies, right, of the event, the four common ones and the Lechonk. So we have all five of the shinies in this video, two hop ips, two more added in, and we are cruising and it is a zero star. Maybe we could grab ourselves another shiny right here. We cannot, but uh, for the most part, the Slugma is a relatively easy, excellent throw. So we should be able to miss that. <laughs> Okay, uh, wow. It has been a quite a day so far. Um, we are going to have to stop somewhere sometime soon. 
and start clearing out some of our inventory. Well, actually, we can probably clear a little bit out right now. I just need to free up a little bit of space. I'm not super hungry yet, but I definitely need to get some lunch sometime in the near future. And then my Rayquaza is already maxed out in Buddy Hearts, except for one category, which I'm probably not going to wait for because one heart isn't worth it to me. So we will, man, so good. Well, I guess two hearts, but I'm not going to walk another route with it. So let's go and take this Registeel, which is going to need only one heart left to pop it out. Santa Monica Pier right over here. We were just walking up and down the beach just a little bit just to clear a little bit of energy because you know if you take your, your shoes off and walk on the earth, it's called earthing and it discharges energy through your feet so that you can neutralize yourself. Actually really good for uh, neutralizing and stabilizing your blood pressure and everything like that. So definitely something that I suggest you guys participate in if you don't already. And then we are here. This one should put this Registeel excited. There it is. Alrighty. And now let's see what we're gonna work on next. What do we think here? Yeah. What do we think here? Yeah. Two. Let's pump out the Lucario. The 100% IV Lucario is coming up next. Then we gotta go hit a route do it all over again, get it excited real quick and continue on with the hearts. All right, so I am going to start taking some of these Sprigatitos out and transferring them. We can see how many of these we've caught so far. I might start saving some of the top ones just to trade over eventually. And we're gonna go through this and start clearing out our bag because we have maxed out twice already. I cleaned out all my Hoppips, all my Lechonks, and now it is time to clear out some of these starters and make 800 more space so we can keep going. So we've definitely caught over 800 Pokemon of the day, which is going pretty good so far. We're gonna keep on keeping up the pace and getting as much as we possibly can out of the day. And we are ready to clear out 438 Pokemon. We will leave those out and transfer them. So we are getting all the way back down to 5,500 out of 6,200. So just about 700 spaces to go ahead and max out again. I'm excited. Okay, there's actually a car show going on on the Santa Monica Pier as well. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of cars and you guys let me know which car is your favorite and then I'm gonna pick my winner. See if you can catch us a Pokemon. Let's jump in. Alright guys, which one did you choose? Because for me, I, it's gotta be this this Mustang is just out of control. And we have Jacob here. What's up Jacob? Hello. How are you, man? Uh, so Jacob actually told me he plays Pokemon Go, right? Yes, yeah, I do. Alright, so uh, you wanna catch one of these? You, wanna, a hound, you got a Houndor or a, a Sprig that's to be able to catch one of those two guys? Oh, that's your, that's yeah, your that's a, I wish it was a wild Lucario. I'll just pick, I'll just get the Houndor. All right. Is it okay if I upgrade? Oh. Yeah, dude, whatever you want, bro. Upgrade the ball? Yeah, no worries. Ooh, the ultra ball. All right. Oh, he's got he's got the curve going on. Oh, dang, dude, plays. Let's go, man. How long have you been playing for? I've been playing since 2016. Oh, no way? Yeah. Nice, man. That's amazing. Uh, and then you said your dad's had this car for, what, six years? Six years, man. Yeah, that's amazing. Has he done a lot of work to it? Because, I mean, it looks like uh, spectacular. Yeah. Like, here and there. Yeah? It's not the same that it was before, no. Right, right. But it looks really good, man. Yeah. yeah. Congrats, dude. It's All amazing. Right. Thank Thanks for catching. And the car show has brought us luck. We have another shiny Buizel. Okay, so this is uh, Buizel shiny number three of the event for me. Let's go. Second of the day. Gotta love this Pokemon. Gotta love it. Great shiny. I'm a big fan. So we'll go ahead and check the IVs here. And it's about 157 as of right now. Check the IVs. Nothing crazy. Let's go said maybe we can get ourselves a back to back. Mm. Hiya. Oh, just missing that excellent. Okay, uh, we're taking a little bit of a break here for a second. Resting, it is officially 2.50, 2.50 p.m. We've been out here since about, let's see how, how long the timer has been. We have been out here for a grand total of eight hours and 39 minutes, is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so total of eight hours and 39 minutes. Man, I, uh, ooh. <laughs> I bit off a lot today. 
I just needed some peace. I needed to sit down. I think that the car is the perfect spot except for this freaking car alarm that's going off somewhere in the background over here. But man, it is it is actually hot out there too today. Let's see, what's the weather in Santa Monica? It probably says like 60 degrees. Okay, seriously though, it feels a lot hotter than what it is. The temperature, pop up the screen recording for you guys so we can check this out together. The temperature in Santa Monica is... 78. <laughs> okay, but seriously though, it's a little hot when you're wearing full long sleeves and a neck thing and a hat and no, we don't want to buy the premium here. This is perfectly fine. So I don't know guys, you let me know. Is that, is that, is that not hot or too hot or, or I mean, to me it's kind of hot. So uh, we need to grind about 600 more Pokemon catches and then we will check in with you guys here. Uh, but definitely taking a little bit of a break to, to get us up, but we need two more great curveball throws and then we are able to get a Spinda. So let's get that, let's check the Spinda. Maybe we can get a Shiny and more Pokemon catching to come. And coming right out of the garage, we got ourselves another Shiny Houndor, let's go. I think this is Shiny number six of the day. See if we can bang an excellent throw on this one. Ah, oh, man, it's all right. We got this, ah, just missing it. And we did complete the five great throws right before we muffed this one up, so thank goodness. Check the IVs on this one, it is still sunny weather, so we could maybe get something good. Buizel back to back. Ah, see if we can snag this excellent throw on this Buizel real quick, yikes. And we didn't even catch it, so we have a round two on this Buizel. Anyway, shiny Spinda check. Dang it. Oh, Spinda, you're killing us, buddy. <laughs> and just like that, we have a cliff going down. We're gonna shiny check in Aerodactyl, get ourselves a 12 kilometer egg because why not? Didn't see any Sierras in the area and I really don't want another shiny A-Palm. And then we are going to be able to get a 582 on this Aerodactyl. Seems like I could get an excellent throw and I overthrow it. Nice. 582 is nothing great. We have our Lucario excited, which is exciting. And let's keep going. About to have some lunch and we're gonna go over where we're at right now. Hopefully we can get to our benchmark that we're trying to get to before we get there, but we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, let's check in on the time. We are approximately 11 hours and 52 minutes minutes in okay so that means that we still have to times whatever I've done today by two so I'm gonna go ahead and click a lap on that so that's a eight hour and 34 minutes and if we go ahead and check our stats we have 82 584 million stardust we are gonna have a grand total of 570 million we cracked over the 570 mark and then we have Pokemon caught of 544,862 which if we do check out our total two from start we have 8.15 million XP um, and we started at 562 and in our first check, we did 2.8. So we're really gonna have to pick up our grind even though I'm gonna start fatiguing out here. So see how that goes. Uh, we have a grand total of 1,223 Pokemon caught. We have a grand total of 1.042 million Stardust. And then we are gonna have two more 100% IVs and we got four more Shinies. So we were able to find a Fue Coco and a Sprigatito 100% IV, which is epic. And we were also able to find four more Shinies for a grand total of eight Shinies on the day, which honestly is is pretty impressive. Everything except that guy right there is looking pretty good. So what do you guys think? Will we double everything? Will we end at 16 shinies for the day? And will we be able to get 16 million XP? My goal is to really get to 20. I know that the, the original goal that I had set out is, is pretty bunked. There's no way I can get all the way to, to 600 million, unfortunately, today. I just don't have that type of Pokemon spawning, honestly. Like, I think that's one of the things that's holding me back. It's kind of like a troll event. It's like, oh, here, you can get all this XP, but it's impossible to catch these Pokemon without Ultra Balls and Raspberries, and it slows down the process. But we do have weather boost, sunny weather, even though it's now cloudy weather throughout the entire day. So we could get ourselves all the way to uh, maybe 85 million if we really push it. Another 2.5 million, I don't know about that. 16 shinies. Let me know what you guys think. We're gonna keep going. Eventually it's gonna get dark here and the drive and the grind is gonna get real. And as the day went on, my fatigue started to set in. It started to go from a very, very inspired grind to a little bit more of a challenge, a rugged challenge to be able to push through to make it 24 hours. And that started to set in as the sun started to set and the beach went from a vibrant pink into the dark ambiance that I was gonna have to be playing for the next 12 hours. And the sun has officially set, and we are back to catching Pokemon. No shinies for a little while now, but that's okay. We are gonna get a Rocket Grunt, Snorlax, 688. I don't believe that this is a good one, but it's still a good opportunity to get an excellent throw. And let's see what we can do here. Almost get to our, our, our second 12 kilometer egg that we are gonna be able to get, and we are going to put that 
on immediately because we're on star pieces anyway it's like why am i even waiting you know like it'd be cool to hatch multiple of them at the same time but at the same time it's like let's put it out there yikes all right that one's gone and nothing here okay so the sun is down i'm gonna go ahead and create a lap right here and we have ourselves another 10 hours and 20 minutes of dark time grind uh, what did i get myself into so we are going to be using a lot of lamps tonight thank you shout out to the lamps in santa monica claiming the reward for the lechonk first place give us 3500 stardust two star pieces no way six ultra balls and 19,000 xp yo what that's crazy And it is nighttime in Santa Monica and it is vastly different than it was during the daytime and we have ourselves a potential shiny A palm. I know I said I wasn't gonna do any more shiny A palms, but hey man, we need the egg. It's right here. Let's complete it. 12 kilometer egg, Unova stone, and we have ourselves a non-shiny A palm with the excellent throw. Let's go. And if we need another one, we have ourselves a shiny hop hip number three of the day. Ooh, can I get an excellent on that? Let's see. Put it in. Oh, oh my goodness, just missing it. Come on, baby. Come on. 906. We have a long time to go. We have to go all the way. I can't believe I have to go all the way to 5 a.m. What a freaking bummer. And it's all the way in and done. Let's go. We are on a route right now, or a route, whichever one you prefer to say, so that we can get our Orangaroo excited for the fourth excited buddy of the day, which is that that's pretty impressive. And we're gonna full buddy heart this one out. I might even keep going and get another one. 9400 XP every single time we hit one of these excellent throws. We've been pretty dialed today. I was saying earlier that if level 50 challenge again, or if I could track these excellent throws, I really think I probably would have done that challenge in about six or seven hours because these Pokemon troll you and jump out of the ball multiple times. So, you know. Okay. Final meal of the day, Takaya. We have the setup going on out here. Thankfully, the Wi-Fi is still on so we can still upload a couple of things. So where we are at right now in Pokemon Go, so we have 82,885,000 Stardust. This might be one of our last check-ins before the end of the video. I don't know, it depends what happens. The time remaining is going to be, well, we're just about at 17 hours. So we have a grand total of seven hours to go. Wish us luck, man, wish us luck. For the grand total of the shiny count today, we have a grand total of nine shinies so far with that last hop hip encounter pretty good right there and then we are at a grand total of 545,233 catches and 572 million xp 943,000 so if we do look at everything right now we're at about 10.5 million xp in 16 hours we have definitely slacked off there we have 1593 catches and we have 1.343 million stardust so compared to our projected it doesn't look like we are going to be hitting that based on the first two and a half hours we did go pretty hard there what would I say happened? Ugh, I don't really know exactly, you know? Like, we had some really good spawns. We were doing well. I don't know what the difference was, but we're still gonna give it our all. We're gonna try our best, and we're gonna finish this 24 hours off as strong as we possibly can. Obviously, we had to take breaks to eat, fatigue, and the likes, but I really would love to get to 580 million XP, which is another approximately 7 million XP, which I think I can do. And uh, definitely gonna get to 546,000. We'd love to get to 550,000 uh, catches, but there's no way we're gonna be able to do that today. So uh, with that said, guys, let's finish out this video strong. And a big shout out to Zionic for sending over a gift so we can hit Ultra Friends on this boost for the season. Remember, you are getting increased XP when you do rank up with friendships. So. It's pretty fire, actually. Definitely take advantage of that. Should be a 50% uh, increase for XP. So that was 150,000. So normally it's 50. It goes up to 25 on a lucky eggs. It doubles to 150. For best friends, it goes all the way from 150 to 300,000 for every best friend you can hit. So take advantage of this. Add to your XP. Uh, okay, quick update. Let's catch this uh, Quilava real quick. And then we will give you guys the update of where we're at, how much time we got left and everything like that. 
You know, I just I just love loud cars and screeching cars. It's amazing, you know? It really does it for me. All right, 2250 right there. We have a Rayquaza spawning shiny in the wild. This is crazy, and it's a tiny shiny. I'm just kidding, you know? It's a Zerua. Uh, so, but imagine, though. Imagine an overworld shiny Rayquaza, and we don't even hit the excellent throw. Let's see if we caught that. 549 is garbage. All right, last Pokemon we need to catch to keep the, the weather boost and everything going, and I'm, I'm fatiguing out, missing the excellent throws. Let's see, what do we have here for the Rocket Leader? We have ourselves a uh, Buff Physique, which can't be Machop anymore, so I'm not really that interested in that, and ready to be shocked. All right, so we did hit the seven-day streak from Pokestop Spin. Unfortunately, I did not record that or think about it, and then I also caught the Illumise, and that was the uh, Midnight Spawn. Well, actually, I guess I caught the Sprigatito as well. So those were spawns right at midnight. So what we're gonna have to do is clear out our stuff. I have this back out. You guys are like, why are you have this? Well, it does get a little hairy around here at night uh, in Santa Monica. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drape this over the camera as I carry the camera. So, you know, it kind of looks like this and it looks like I'm just carrying around a blanket baby or something like that. So, uh, shiny, no shinies past midnight as of yet, but we get to start doing our buddy boosts again. So I need like, uh, maybe five minutes to regroup myself. And we are currently at, uh, 18 hours and five minutes, which puts us at a grand total of five hours and 55 minutes and 25 seconds right there on the dot. <laughs> okay. I need a 10 minute power nap because I am freaking pooped right now. BRB. And we have a 12 kilometer egg hatching and it's gonna be a sand dial. Non shiny 564 is not good either. And it is time that uh, the bars are getting let out. So everybody's uh, coming out here crazy. And you guys are probably wondering why I'm purifying Pokemon because it's going to get you a Haunter encounter. And I have a theory that I'm pretty close to being accurate. I believe that if you purify um, three 1000 per purified Pokemon, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one more of these. Uh, I don't believe believe it's this one let's go I think I've checked all of these ones and I can go ahead and transfer them some of them unfortunately we did not get the shiny Zapdos yet then we're gonna get the Haunter and I do believe that it's gonna cancel each other out pretty much and be a wash so I can add towards my metal I can catch the Haunter and with the four times catch Stardust with the star piece on we're gonna get a Haunter encounter and this Haunter let's see if we can hit the excellent throw we should be able to hit that excellent throw just like that we're still on we're tired but we're on and bam, there it is. Let's see, are we a wash? Are we a wash? Not quite, okay. We're losing 1200 Stardust every time, but I mean, you know, for, for that uh, ratio, I, I think I think it's probably, probably worth it for me. I can add to my metal and I can keep on grinding. Shout out to the tables that are being set up right now. So I do believe, well, this is a uh, huge Fue Coco, right? Pretty big, pretty big, pretty big. Uh, hit that excellent throw, and I do believe that if we catch this one, which is potential we won't, that uh, this is gonna put us over 575 million XP, and I missed the excellent throw. Amazing. <laughs> I swear, this is better. It's like, excellent throw, excellent throw. Missed the excellent throw. Maybe catch it, maybe don't. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Probably caught right there. No, wow, okay. What a troll of an event, honestly, dude. What a troll of an event. All right, we're gonna hit this excellent throw right here. And that is gonna put us over 575 million and 7,845. So if we're gonna hit our goal, well, obviously I said 600 million at the beginning of the video, but that is not gonna be possible. So we have 5 million XP to go. Stopwatch, let's hit a, a, a lap right there. And we have four hours and 25 minutes. We should be able to hit five, five million. XP in that time frame. So if we do go ahead and calculate that out, 5 million, I need to do it, let's say 9,400. I need to make 531 excellent throws in four and a half hours, which I mean, that's pretty doable, right? So if we get there, you guys know where I'm at. I mean, I'm pretty fatigued right now. I've been going for about 19 hours and 36 minutes, exactly actually, not about. And we have some eggs hatching. Maybe that's gonna be a uh, good luck charm. Oh, that would have been such a good shiny just to top this video off. And we have a carbink 
Why the freak is that into uh, 10 kilometer eggs right there? I do not know what the hundo from egg hatch is. That's okay. And we are uh, still going here. Any field research, catch three Pokemon, evolve a Pokemon, which will be an Eevee encounter. And uh, let's continue our excellent throw spree here. I love this Buizel. Such an easy, excellent throw. Should be two of them. Yep, caught those two. And uh, let's go ahead and evolve and continue. And we're at 83,111,000 Stardust. So hopefully we'll be able to get to 84 million and we'll be able to get 580 million XP, which hopefully means that by the end of the event, I will be over 600 million because I'm definitely gonna allocate some time for that. Okay, well let's actually keep this under track right now, okay? So let's see here. I have 545,502 and the XP is at 575 and 054. So essentially if I get to 546,000, we're gonna check in to see how much XP I've gained, which will show us how many excellent throws we have hitting. Wow, exactly 275,000 Pokestops visited. How cool, let's continue. And I just wanna put a heads up for you guys. I just hatched a Larvesta out of two kilometer eggs. It's a super, super rare hatch, but guys, we literally just hatched this. 8.30, not great, but I mean, hey, it counts towards something and they come from two kilometer eggs, so you might as well potentially get yourself something good out of there. Ooh, send three gifts to friends. That's an easy 1,000 Stardust. And I've been getting a couple bounce feisty Pokemon bounce backs, so I gotta be careful of that. I've been trying to run away before the bounce back happens so I can not hit a bunk throw because every single time I do that, I hit a bunk throw for whatever reason. The bounce backs just never seem to hit excellent throws and I'm not a fan. Okay, well, um, the Santa Monica Pier is closed for the night, so we're gonna have to grind the streams. <laughs> ah, let's go. Oh man, we're getting delirious, aren't we? Yeah, we still got like four more hours. Yay! And just a quick check in, guys, we are uh, 2 49 a.m., and we have just reached 176 million, so we have four million to go, hopefully, to reach it and we are at a grand total of three hours and 22 minutes remaining. Honestly, guys, the spawns have been like quite, quite bad, um, and the pier is blocked off, so I'm thinking that I should maybe start making my way down the highway, maybe hit Long Beach, or maybe try to get towards South Orange County, maybe, I don't even know if the Spectrum would be open right now, but something along that way to get better spawns. Cause like, if you guys look at this right now, I know it's not the best lighting. I mean, like this is kind of like how it's been, you know, for the last hour, it's like one or two random Pokemon show up. I had to take my phone case off because my phone was not charging properly. With the phone case, I think it was getting too hot. There's a excellent throw on that one. Ooh, slack off. This Fue Coco though, continuously being a challenge for me to catch. Please just catch it on the first ball. Thank goodness. Challenge to catch, keeps breaking out. Sometimes I'm missing the excellent throws. The slack off, ooh, level one. Easy, excellent throw. And just like that, 30,000 XP pretty much right there. And guys, after a long bit of time, we have ourselves our neck shiny, which is another shiny fletchling. Uh, still down with it, you know, shinies count, shinies count. Can we hit an excellent throw? We cannot. Will we catch it? We don't know. Maybe, maybe so. There we go. Every excellent throw counts right now. Man, I am extra tired at the moment. And this one is a garbage Pokemon. And we have a couple more of the uh, Sprigatitos. So we will go ahead and throw an excellent throw right there just like that hopefully this one will bring it home stay with us there we go all right keeping chalking up that 9360 every single time all right can we go back to back on the excellent throws don't know if i'm going to catch it but i think i can go back to back this one's one of the easier ones for sure the fue coco is is by far the most challenging for me i don't i don't know why it's just uh the really close pokemon are the ones that i have the most trouble with as far as like that small circle, semi-close. I hit it a decent amount, but I definitely hit it uh, probably maybe 70% of the time. Uh, go ahead and grab that two XLs and yeah. Alrighty guys, this is kind of what it's been looking like for the last hour, hour and a half or so. 
Uh, unfortunately, there's not a crazy amount of spawns right now, but you know, we've been catching a few Pokemon here. We'll find a little cluster spawn and yeah, we'll be like this. And as of right now, we are at uh, 576, 626. So we are, are really not looking good. And we have two extremely difficult Pokemon right here to be able to hit excellent throws on. Ugh, I cannot get the touch on that one. And we have the Stardust Boosted Mag Cargo. You have absolutely no idea how bad I want to give up right now, guys. You have no idea how bad I want to give up. But actually, being out here alone solo, like I'm like the only person out here right now pretty much besides the random worker, drink distribution, whatever it is. It's actually pretty peaceful out here, you know? You can hear the sweet sweepers, hitting the excellent throws. Wow, catching the Cheerum on the first ball, that's out of control right there. And then we will go ahead and hopefully hit this hop -ip excellent throw. Nope, I'm not doing that. The bounce backs never seem to get me excellent throws, so I just uh, opt out, and that's a great throw. Wonderful. Very peaceful, actually, but I wanna give up incredibly hard can we hit an excellent throw on a ghastly oh uh, that might have been it that is not it did we catch it we did we still have two hours ish and 30 minutes and i am withering away into a, a mud pie here uh 576 million 717 thousand xp uh, which means we'd have to do 3.2 million xp in in two and a half hours is doable but the spawns are just sucking right now so I don't know if the spawns have it in, they're not giving me what I need. Like I should be way up here with catches right now and I am absolutely lagging. All right guys, we're gonna hatch a two kilometer egg and we finally found a decent cluster right now, which is exciting. 367 right there, all right. Let's see if we can pull out some excellent throws right here and really turn some XP up. I couldn't see if that was an excellent throw or not, so I'm just gonna wait. And there's excellent throw number one. See how many of these we can get uh, into excellent throws. There's gonna be two. Hopefully we can catch everything. That will also be part of the struggle. That one is probably not gonna be an excellent throw to be honest with you guys. So it's probably good that, uh... ah, just overthrowing that. So we have uh, two of three so far. Three of four, did we catch this one? We did not, so we can still go after this again. There it is. Uh, this is gonna be a Cyndaquil. Wow, that one's boosted up there. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a berry. Cyndaquil's a little bit of a challenging one. So far we've caught in every single Pokemon with an excellent throw right now. Uh, Hopip, excellent throw. Weasel, 39, easy, excellent. And one more Weasel. Oh, we got a couple more Pokemon up there. There we go, we're on it right now, guys. We are absolutely on it. Hungry for that XP. Hungry for that XP, baby. Waxley, did I catch it? 825, one more. Can we catch all these Pokemon? The pressure's on with an excellent throw. Oh, the tiniest excellent throw. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. They're all done. Excellent throws on every single Pokemon. We did miss the Eevee, but it didn't get caught and we got them all. Let's go, dude. Now that was a big pickup. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So 11 of those Pokemon in approximately two minutes. So 11 times, let's just say nine, 300 because of that Eevee miss. 102,000 XP in two minutes or less. That's unheard of. You can't even get in barely to a raid lobby in that time. All right, so with that cracked amount of excellent throws that we still continue to do. Man, we did a lot. We are over 577.1 million XP, which leaves us, oof, almost dropped the phone right there. Remember, I do not have a case on that phone. Thank goodness that cord was strong. Uh, we are at a total of two hours and 20 minutes remaining, guys. Two hours and 20 minutes to get 2.9 million XP, which is doable, but we need the spawns. The spawns are gonna make or break it for us. Can we make it happen? I just wanna tell you guys that if you're gonna plan to do this, I will give you guys some tips here. Uh, number one, I think it's more efficient to do it in like hour increments than to just try to do one spurt because you're gonna deplete the natural spawns for one. So that's why I'm having a lot of trouble here because every time I walk up and down, I complete them and I can't get to the pier right now. So that's a, a big hindrance for me. Number two, regular, 
raspberries are very, very helpful. You don't even need golden ones, regular raspberries, but having enough balls is very important for you. So that's gonna be good. And really dialing in those excellent throws is, is super important, you know, like to knowing the distances of the Pokemon and hitting those each and every time and really just being patient and waiting for those excellent throws. Guys, raspberries, efficiency, hour increments, lucky eggs, duplicating, compounding XP with best friends and everything like that will very much help you maximize out on this type of grind. Alrighty guys, I had to put a little bit of a stop hold. I was absolutely gonna fall asleep and probably not make it home. So here we are with our timer, our stopwatch. We have an hour and five minutes left. Let's start it up and let's finish this off in Dana Point right now. Let's do this, all right? So we're gonna try our absolute best. This is where we are at with everything. Uh, we have one hour. We have our 578.16, uh, 545 almost 546,000 and we are at 83,466 so we're gonna finish up and then I am gonna pass out and probably do the recap tomorrow because I am freaking exhausted right now. All right, I really did not expect this at all. We got ourselves a shiny Woobat. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. We have had so many shinies in this hunt. It's, it's just like out of this world right now. Let's continue on with our hunt. Shiny Woobat in the bag. This one is going to be a one star, but actually, we have the ability to do our adventure incense, so let's continue that right now. And we have ourselves a Sierra check. Dude, when am I gonna ever get this freaking shiny, dude? Can I not just get this one today? <laughs> Seriously though. And the broken shiny luck continues, but it's a huge one and it's a level one Lechonk shiny. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Are you absolutely kidding? Are you pulling on my leg right now? Let's go. And I just totally buffed the excellent throw. Like, I totally forgot that I was even trying to hit excellent throws right now. Like. <sighs> All right, um, wow. First click, level one, huge, shiny Lechonk, hold on. Let's see, uh, see more, shiny at age zero, 12. This one's a male, that one's also a male, jam. All right, continue. <laughs> And the adventure sink is over and we did not get a Glarian bird. Best thing we got is a fortress, but if you notice, we did get a shiny in there. First pawn off the incense is a shiny and we're gonna try our best to hit every single excellent throw we possibly can. And we are a little bit off right now, <laughs> but we're getting the second daybreak of the day, right? Second daybreak of the video. Bam, excellent throw. Let's go, man, let's go. We have a, a officially 39 more minutes. 39 more minutes to go, 39 more minutes. We got this. It's officially raining. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good for our excellent throws, man. The screen is wet. I'm already having trouble. And now I have another impedance here. So everything's working against us, but we're still gonna give it our all. All we got, baby. It's all we got. Got one nice loop around down by the harbor and that will uh, wrap this video up as far as the grind goes. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like a Southern California sunrise and sunset. Nothing like it. It might be raining, but our shinies are still not done. Can we hit this excellent throw? Ah, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. This is by far the most shinies I've gotten at any type of grind outside of like a go fest. And we have nine minutes left on our egg. We have just breached 579 million. So we have breached it. I don't know if I'm gonna get to 580, guys. I have like nine minutes left on the incense and I am fatigued out. But I'm gonna hit as many excellent throws as I can and I hope to never see one of these Fue Cocos again in my life. There's an excellent throw, let's go. Okay, so we have six minutes until we hit this 24 hour mark. It has been an absolute grind, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna get, try to get all the way to the top back home. Uh, we're gonna circle around this harbor right here and see, see what we can find. See what we can hit for the last minutes and see what we can max out. Uh, see if we can hit one of these Fue Coco. I actually hate this Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. I think he's so cute, but man, that distance is reckless. And we have reached 24 hours. One more lap, 
We're putting on one more egg because we have about 15 minutes to walk up the hill. Can we get as close to 580 million XP as we possibly can? I don't know, you guys are gonna have to tell me. We got two of these apple face alligators. Yes! <laughs> okay, it busted out, wow. All right guys, it's actually really starting to rain right now. We did pop a Meltan box. We're doing everything we possibly can to get ourselves, hold on, all the way to this uh, 180 million mark. Ah, missing excellent throws here and there. We're close, but I don't know if we have anything left in the gas tank, guys. We are back in Dana Point, and we have officially stopped right now 24 hours and 49 minutes. Holy smokes. That is more than a full day's worth of a grind. We did have to pause just a little bit to get ourselves home uh, so that we would not fall asleep behind the wheel, but besides that, you know, we basically paused. As soon as we got home, we resumed, and we finished it off. Okay, so not only that, let's check out what we have. We have uh, four stars. We actually got eight 100% IV Pokemon, which is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy that this happened. Field research and a bunch of wild. I do not know how we are just going so hard right there. We got a grand total of 13 shinies. 13 shinies. You guys wanna see what the shinies were right here? Wow, pretty crazy. We're gonna go ahead and uh, evolve a Buizel right here so that we can, ooh, I like that. So we can see it go all the way into the top and then we're gonna recover our stats. And you guys let me know what you guys think, how good my grind was and let me know if I could have gone a little bit harder. Cause I think I could have been a little bit more efficient. It was just the Pokemon, I feel like it, they, they're not boosted, right? In, in the quantity of spawns, good looking. Floatzel right there. As far as our stats go, we started at 562, ended at 579 for a grand total of 17.4 million XP. We started at 543, we ended at 546 for a grand total of 2,561 catches. We started at 81.5 and we ended at 83.6 million Stardust. And we gained a grand total of 2.117 million Stardust. We had 13 Shinies, 8 100% IVs. However, we did use quite a bit of coins. We used about 5,000 because we needed 48 Lucky Eggs. And we needed 48 Star Pieces to be able to make this happen. Because the Lucky Eggs, if we didn't use those, we would have got half of the XP in Pokemon Go. And just to put an average per hour of XP that we gained. So we did uh, 17 for divided by 24 and a half hours. So we did 710,000 XP per hour. So this is why I tell you guys to go out and do it for an hour increments in a very dense spawned area and then come back at a later time, maybe two to three hours later or another day because this will help you optimize the natural spawns and you won't be blocked off like I was quite frequently today where it's like I would catch everything and then I would go for an hour and I would just be kind of like, you know, catching sparse and just incense and occasional lore stops. It's like if you can just really focus on a very densely spawned area, it will help your grind much better than doing something crazy like this stunt. The last thing we need to check is how many kilometers did we walk? So we started off at 43.4 and we ended at at 93.9, which gives us a grand total of 50 kilometers in one day, which brings us to a grand total of 31 miles walked. Are you serious? In 24 hours. That is absolutely insane. So it's been a grind. Thank you guys for being here. Let me know in the comments below if you guys plan to do this. But if you don't, guys, just doing this for an hour to two hours every single day will make this worth your time, energy, and effort. And it will yield you the XP, Stardust, and whatever you need in Pokemon Go. So thank you guys for being here as always. To all of my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody takes your support, subscription, and participation to X level. I'm going to see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and rating all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.